is the YouTube family. It's your boy Sean, and we are back again. Got another video. Yo, Nintendo Direct. So, I'm gonna give my quick thoughts on this latest Nintendo Direct. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really feel like there was some good stuff, right? Like, they had a lot of DLCs. You know, they showed Zelda, of course. Gang. Got the hat and the shirt. Like, Y'all already know I'm a big Zelda fan. And they had some other cool stuff too, but I don't know, man. It just, I'm just not sure how I feel about it. Like, I know Pikmin 4 was announced. I never played any Pikmin games. I literally have like a whole, like my whole squad of like close friends and not so close friends and acquaintances, whatever. Pretty much everybody plays Nintendo stuff, but I don't know even a single person that really cares about Pikmin. I don't know. Maybe some of y'all in the comments care about Pikmin. I mean, I literally posted a poll about if that was one of the most exciting announcements and nobody voted for Pikmin. I mean, I'm just saying, you know what they say, numbers don't lie. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Now, I look at the sales for Pikmin. They do sell pretty good. It actually sells like around what Metro sells, which is kind of crazy because, no, again, nobody really is talking about Pikmin. It must be like for a different audience, a demographic. I don't know, maybe it's like based off of like age or something. Maybe I kind of aged my way out of something like Pikmin. I don't really know, you know what I mean? But. That wasn't going to excite me. I mean, but seriously, guys, like, I'm literally on Nintendo's website right now. There's four new games. Four. This is one of the issues with first party titles with Nintendo. It's like, since they have such an over reliance on first party titles, now you have this situation where they basically only have that. So it's like there's these weird droughts. And now they're starting to rely heavily on DLCs and stuff, which in my opinion is not a good thing. Like new games, usually better, but obviously they can't because of development time and having to basically reuse resources in order to survive, essentially. But I mean, they literally have four games, like Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, which is an old game, by the way. Wii U, uh, no, not Wii U. I can't remember when this came out, but it's definitely old. It's not. It's not new. This is the deluxe version. It's just like how they did Mario Kart, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. Uh, but that came out on the Wii U originally, Mario Kart. So uh, Mario Kart 8. So that's not new either, <laughs> right? But they keep releasing DLCs for that, which again, uh, maybe I'll talk about a little bit more later. Uh, this Bayonetta game, which, as far as I'm concerned, nobody should really care about. I mean, it's like a whole different type of experience. So. It's clearly made for like a different audience than the original Bayonetta. Hell, this game is probably actually gonna sell more than the original because of the type of game it is and how it looks. It's like it's made like more for a younger audience, which I guess power to them, they want their money. They wanna take advantage of Bayonetta. They're like, man, I'm tired of not making no money off of this. I'm tired, I mean, because the Bayonetta series isn't like super duper successful in terms of, but it's like decently moderately successful but not like very successful so um, I can see them trying to make some money off of that but I don't care about this game it doesn't look appealing to me and I again haven't heard anyone saying oh man I can't wait to play Bayonetta Origins like come on like look look out for the streamers playing that I mean there might be some people like oh I want to get some views because nobody else is playing this game so or maybe they really love Bayonetta I don't know but uh, I don't love her that much <laughs> where I'm probably gonna play that. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Maybe it's better than not, maybe I'm underestimating it. Uh, of course, Legend of Zelda, I mean, that trailer, I'm sure there's gonna be like a bajillion breakdowns and stuff, but you know, at this point, I'm just ready for the game to freaking come out. I mean, they've never done like an in-depth trailer for the game, so still have pretty much no clue about what the heck the story's about. Um, we've seen a couple additional items, but we don't know like what the, what overall, what it's gonna look like in terms of items and what they're gonna have that's new. They haven't like went over any new features. There's no in-depth information about this game. So all the, as far as I'm concerned, any of those other videos where people are gonna do all these analyses and breakdowns, useless to me. Um, but you know, that's my take on it. And of course, Pikmin 4 I already talked about, which again, I don't really care about. Maybe I'll try it. You know, maybe I'll give it a, a, a try on the channel and you know, 
Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is it worth trying? Somebody who's tried it, please let me know. If nobody says anything about it, then I'm probably just never going to end up playing it, to be honest with you. So, maybe my loss, but, I mean, but there, there's more stuff that they announced, but this is all that's on their current release schedule. And I get it. It's February. It's early. It's February. They could easily announce something else next month. And, I mean, you got, like, literally 10 more months to announce stuff, so... I'm not trying to get too gung-ho here and just sound like I'm trying to intentionally, you know, take a dump on Nintendo or something, but I'm just pointing out to me what's obvious is that, at least for now, they don't really have much lined up for the year in terms of new releases. Now, of course, they got some other stuff. They got uh, Splatoon, the DLC. They got Fire Emblem DLC. Octopath Traveler, I'm pretty sure, is a Switch exclusive game. It's not Nintendo exclusive, but it's Switch exclusive. Well, I guess technically, I mean, basically Nintendo exclusive because they never released Octopath Traveler, the original, on any other console, right? I'm pretty sure they didn't. Pretty sure. So, yeah, I mean, they got some other exclusive, but for whatever reason, at least on their website, they only put these games. <laughs> You put like these four games and it just makes it look kind of pathetic like they're not releasing anything I could easily see somebody who didn't watch the direct coming here and being like alright let's see what Nintendo's gonna release and they see these four Ooh. and they're like man what the hell this is whack like c come on bro uh, so yeah I mean they got a couple DLC they got Xenoblade Splatoon uh, the, the other one I mentioned Fire Emblem uh, but honestly I'm probably not gonna play those you know in I haven't caught up with the Xenoblade series yet, and maybe some of this is just my fault, but I haven't caught up with the Xenoblade series yet. Like, the first game was, like, literally, like, 80 hours. Like, 80. And that was, like, without doing all the side quests. So, like, I, I didn't even play the second and third one because it's a huge time investment. It's not that I don't want to, but I don't have the time. So maybe for everyone who has the time, they could just get enveloped in every single Nintendo release if you really like it that much. But... I'm just speaking of, like, in terms of the overall heavy hitter, heavy titles, like, where's, like, a new Mario Kart? Like, the Wii, Wii U version of Mario Kart ported to Switch, then they kept releasing endless DLCs for it, and they haven't even released all the DLC, so it's like, it's like they're doing this, this weird drip feed sort of thing, you know, it's like, every couple months, like, I mean, to me, that's just kind of ridiculous, like, four tracks every couple months. Some people might be like, well, that's great, like, you're tripping, but I don't think so because the game is old. It's not, it's not a new game anymore. You know, I don't, I don't care that much about that. It'll be a good opportunity to get with friends and play the tracks, like a, a good excuse to, you know, just kind of catch up with friends, pretty much how this is used. A good excuse for that. And then we can play once or twice and then never play it again until the next DLC releases. But that's it. You know, I'm ready for a new game. I pretty much gotta go rely on like other new racing games, like Crash Team Racing or something, even though they haven't been releasing new versions of that either, but you know, I digress. But there, there's, I mean, we could use a new Mario Party. We could use maybe a new Mario sports game or something. I know they've released their fair share of those, but I don't know, just release some more or something. Release DLCs for that. I mean, something additional that I could play uh, Metroid Prime 4, where is that? They released, they're talking about releasing uh, Metroid Prime Remaster, released today. Like, just out of nowhere. It's Metroid Prime Remaster, the first game. But here's the thing, there's three games. Where are the other two? They already have Metroid Prime Trilogy that was released literally on the Wii. <laughs> so where's the other two games? You know, this is years later. This Now you had the Wii U, and now you're all the way to the Switch, and you were talking about remastering the first game. Now, no remakes or anything like that, just a remaster for the first game. And we're supposed to be, like, super excited about that? No! Where's Metroid Prime 4? Or better yet, a Metroid Dread sequel. You know, I don't know, like, Super Metroid 2? Like, whatever two-dimensional Metroid game... I'm pretty sure that Metroid Dread like sold better than the, like all the Metroid Prime games. <laughs> so I, I, I believe that that's what the sales chart show. Like 2D Metroid games do pretty good. 
well, at least this one on Twitch did. So maybe let's release another one of those. As a matter of fact, I, I do love the Prime Trilogy, actually, a little bit more than the 2D ones. But if they can release those two-dimensional games faster, then I'm all for a sequel to that. So hopefully something like that is coming. Maybe it's too soon to be asking for that, but I'd love another one. And if not, that Metro Prime 4, you know, all this other stuff that we got coming out, like this lineup in terms of new games, it's not very strong for this year in terms of Nintendo. For other consoles and PC, PS5, Xbox, all that stuff, insane lineup. I mean, you got Dead Space just came out, Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil 4, Jedi Survivor. I mean, come on. It's, it's, did I mention Spider-Man 2 is coming out? I mean, it's, it's a lot. Final Fantasy 16 is supposed to, supposed to come out this year. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth also, I believe, is supposed to come out this year. I mean, that's a lot. None of that's coming to Switch. Apparently, Crash Team Rumble is supposed to be kind of like a Smash Bros. type thing. Also not coming to the Switch. And I'm like, man. I mean, at this point... It's hard to see them like competing. Like no Mario, no new Mario games coming out. And you know, they have released two Mario games before. Uh, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 came out on the Wii. So they definitely have done it. It was the first time they did it, and they may not want to repeat that. But at this stage, what are you gonna do? It's like a Mario drought. There's like no 2D Mario. And there's no 3D Mario. There's no DLC, <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Even with the old Mario 3D World, they re-released that from the Wii U again. It's a lot of, did a lot of that, right? Pretty, a lot of their games they re-released from the Wii U because the Wii wasn't very successful and brought to the Switch, which is fair, but we also can use something new. So that's mainly what I'm looking forward to is new stuff. That's really the problem here if you were to say that there was a problem, that is the problem is new games. And I know they've already released a lot of new games, so you can say, well, they just were shot, they just released this and this. I get it. But now what? There, there's always gonna be a future ahead, right? So okay, well, what's coming up in the future? Like what if I've already played all the games I'm interested in so far? and I'd like something new besides Zelda. You know, I want the Metroid Prime 4, I want the Mario parties. What happened to F-Zero? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean? What happened to that? Like, we're just gonna just ignore that, like, forever? You know, I mean, okay, you know, can we get a sequel to Kirby and the Forbidden Kingdom? Ooh, probably the best Kirby game ever. I mean, that's just me, you know, but, yeah, I mean, this. these are just my general thoughts. I don't know, man. Let me know if y'all agree. I mean, we had the Game Boy Player. That's cool. Well, I'm calling it the Game Boy Player. It reminds me, that's what they called it on, I guess, the GameCube on the Switch. I don't know if they call it that, but that's what I'm calling it. Get the Game Boy Player for Switch where you can play Game Boy games. That's cool. But, per usual, you can't play the majority of the games on the Switch. It's going to be like just a handful of games mainly like their first party stuff, and not even all of that. You know, it's like, and honestly, at this stage, guys, I mean, who, who even really cares that much about having a way to play some of these older Game Boy games on the Switch? I mean, I'm not advocating for anything. I'm not saying I have anything like this, but let's be real, everybody has access to emulators, so if you really wanted to play that bad, most people already probably have a way of playing those games. Well, they don't even have to go and pay for them. Now, if they had the full lineup where you could legally play on the Nintendo Switch, or at least a very large, robust lineup, it would make a lot more sense, and I'd be a little bit more excited for it. But at this stage, I don't really care that much. And again, that also got zero votes on the poll. Pretty much everybody voted for Zelda and all the DLCs that are coming out, which is fair because that stuff is good. Whereas the other stuff, not as exciting. So, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Was this a good lineup, like for this direct? You know, am I overreacting? You know, do I need to be more patient? Or are things looking grim for this year for Nintendo? Are sales gonna slow down? I mean, you do got Zelda coming out. 
May. So, I mean, that's, that is a pretty heavy hitting game. Maybe they're all hands on deck with that. And then once that releases, they can kind of cool a little bit. Let me know what y'all think. Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com. Touch for shot Lamar. Appreciate y'all watching. Catch y'all next time. Peace.